Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. and today we are going to be talking about my latest discotheque pickups. And yes, I just moved into my new house. I think I'm going to start using this table to do some of my haul videos, just so I have a pretty consistent background. I'm still going to pull out my posters and have little decorated backgrounds once in a while. So first up we have Arion, and this is the collector's edition. Here is this gorgeous, gorgeous cover. The art for this is really neat. And Discotech said that they got a lot of art, so that's why the back is full of these images. Here's the sides. This is also one of the first ones to come out with the rounded corners. So you can see here's the Blu-ray disc. And it looks like that. But here is the actual disc art. It's gorgeous, this disc art. And here is the inside panel. I love that Discotheque always does this. They always find as much art as possible. They have these inside art panels, reversible covers, that kind of thing. And this is Arion. Arion is kind of like a mythical odyssey. Um, people are comparing it kind of like, if you like Hades, you'll like this, which in a way is true. Uh, I watched this recently, just the other actual week, and I think it's a very solid story. It really feels like someone's pet project, like there was a lot of love put into this. There's so much animation. The designs are really what I like. I really like the designs in here just for the monsters and the armor sets. A very interesting work, and a lot of people uh, who went on in the anime industry worked on this. I was reading up on some Studio Ghibli um, you know, like colorists and stuff like that. And they started on Arion and then, you know, moved to Ghibli around the time of uh, my neighbor Totoro. So I think it's really cool history-wise. I think it is a lovely little film. I'll definitely rewatch it. So it's great that I have it in my collection. Uh, if you guys are really interested in this, definitely go look it up and find it. And I say buy this. It's, it's really a lovely little film, just good old fashioned animation. Next up, you guys know that in one of my older hauls, I got Hajime no Ippo. And of course, to go with it, I pre-ordered Hajime no Ippo The Fighting Collection 2. Here's that cover. It's beautiful. Time for the second round. I really like the way they do this. They're very good about, you know, they're catering to physical collectors that like you know, a lot of art and a lot of, you know, promotional stuff on the actual... Here's the disc art on the actual sets. That is so cool. Hajime no Ippo is great, that's all I can say, ask anyone. And then of course there is an inside cover that looks like this. I, I really love the way everything's printed. It looks fantastic. And I think they're gonna do a third collection but I don't know when. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments because I do want to complete collecting this one. So that's Hajime no Ippo. Next, this is the first time I encountered the rounded corners and they'd mentioned that the set would have it. This is Rose of Versailles. They uh, have the title Lady Oscar, the Rose of Versailles. Here are the sides. The sides are beautiful. I really, really like this cover. Just as a side note, just the way this cover was done, the art, the way they chose to do the lettering. It's so pretty. Love and Hate, Justice and Duty. This is just classic shoujo drama, historical drama, just period piece. Just lovely. This is such a great series. I read a bit of the manga too, but I didn't finish the manga, so I'm really happy to have this. Here is the disc art. I do think the disc art is beautiful. I love this style of just like colored line art and roses. And then if you're not a fan of that front cover, they do have this inside art, which is gorgeous. Like part of me wants to put this on the reverse. Oh my God, these are so pretty. I kind of want to scan these in just to have them in my laptop. <laughs> Uh, I have set two already coming out. It's not here yet, but like obviously I'm gonna get set two and complete it. So I'm just, I'm really pleased with how th how much Discotech's been putting out and how they've been designing their covers. 
I don't know, I'm just happy. I'm just really happy with it. And I just, I just have a couple more that are special that I want to talk about that are from Discotech. I also, the second this came up for pre-order, Magical Girl Ore. I really like this. Look at the art on this. I think this is from the manga art. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, this is a very interesting little show. It's kind of a parody of magical girl shows, but in itself is also a very good magical girl show. So it kind of straddles that line. Look at this. This is amazing. I love this. I love this so much. It's, it's a goofy show. And the very interesting part of this show, here's her female self and her magical self. This <laughs> is so great. Sorry, I haven't actually opened any of these yet, so I'm just kind of grinning ear to ear just enjoying this. Uh, this show, when they were discussing it in one of their streams, they said, because it's a parody show and there's so much going on at once, there's a lot of translations, like little signs and, you know, little notes and stuff. And even in the animation, there's like, little background things that need to be translated and it broke their translation technology it just like really crashed the system so I don't know it, that's not reason enough to buy something but I do like those little anecdotes and it anecdotes about collecting I can't talk today I'm so sorry I'm so happy in my house here here is the disc art this show you think you know what's coming just because, you know, you're like, oh, it's a parody when they transform. They're like tough guys and they punch all the evil things to death and whatever. And then it goes so much more than that. I, it's a really great little show. I'm amazed that they got it and put it out on Blu-ray. I'm really thankful. <laughs> this is, I don't know if I can get the manga. That's the thing. I don't think the manga's out yet. Maybe it will be. But I just, I like it. And it looks so unassuming. Anyway, I think they did a great job with this. If you like funny parodies, if you like magical girl stuff, if you like, you know, like hot male bodies, if you like people dressing up how they want to dress up, you know, this is a great little show. I actually really like it. And of course, something, oh my gosh, I was buzzing in my chair when they announced this. Submarine Super 99, of course. I wanted this for so long. I've never seen this. I still haven't watched it. Uh, Leji Matsumoto, obviously one of my all-time favorites. You know, I'm, I'm a big Galaxy Express 3.9, you know, Queen Emeraldus, etc., etc. But this has just notoriously never come out here. Always been difficult to find. And Discotech finally brought it to us. I have no idea if it's good. <laughs> Some Leji stuff is fine, and then other Leji stuff is amazing. Uh, wow, I haven't seen this cover yet. <laughs> uh, that's great. This is so cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just excited about this one. I've not looked inside at all yet. Oh, man. So cool. I don't know what to say other than I'm happy that it came out. This is kind of a cool cover. I think I'll keep it as background art, though. So yeah, I have some more discotheque stuff coming in that I'm really excited about, stuff that they've been working on for a while. And just before all that big stuff comes in, I wanted to give you guys a little video showing the recent stuff that I've picked up. So that is all of that. So here is so far everything. I have a few more things, but they're Lupin related. So one of the next videos will be my next big Lupin haul. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want that sooner rather than later. And I'm so glad to be back. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Uh, you guys rock. I can't wait to get more videos out and be chatting with you guys more and more from now on. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.